smile, you're watching Amin Motors. See this? This right here? Skunk 2. Don't need an engine. I've got stickers. Even better, I can just call Acura Roadside Assistance. Come help me out. You might be wondering, what on earth is this and why the heck did I buy it? This is a 1997 Acura Integra RS Coupe, formerly with a manual transmission and a non VTEC engine. As you can see, it clearly does not have any drivetrain components remaining. It's quite banged up. The rear hatch broke on the way here. No rear suspension. But it is pretty much rust free, so why did I buy this? You might recall that in a recent video, my friend gave me a hundred bucks and we were going to see who could make more money off of that flipping stuff in two weeks. This time we're doing a similar challenge, but you know, we're stepping things up a little bit. So, hundred bucks to a thousand bucks in two weeks. And I bought this entire car for a hundred bucks, deliberately included. So, the guy delivered it for me, and it's got plenty of decent parts on it still. Even though the hatch window broke on the way here, which is sad. But still, it's got doors, door handles, a lot of interior. Can't get this door open. Got a couple of wheels, no rear wheels. The tires are pretty trash. The front frame is it's been cut in multiple places. My goal with this car is I'm going to part this car out. So I'm going to sell all the parts, make as much money as I can as soon as possible, and then with that, then just scrap the shell for free. I'm sure I can get someone to take it as scrap metal. No trunk latch, no hydraulics to the trunk. I have the door cards, I have the carpets, I have a silver bumper for some reason, glove box, whoops. So as I was saying, this is going to be a full part out, I'm going to sell what I can, scrap the rest, and then see how much money I have and go from there. I only have two weeks, so this has to be done quickly. So let's see what we have. This is power steering reservoir, power steering pump right here. We have a fuel pump, fuse box, still plenty of good sheet metal, strut towers. We have the steel wheels, some steering components and suspension components. The steering still works. We have the doors, door windows, this side quarter window. We have windshield, which doesn't have any cracks on it or anything, surprisingly. We have sunroof with no. We have a roof with no sunroof. Beige cloth interior, quite dirty. This car was obviously in an accident. Got the dashboard. This is a three-pedal car because it was manual. You can see, there's a silver bumper from a '95 in the back as well. And it's pretty much rust-free. There's not any rust here. And the door sounds just like my other Integra. When you close the door, 
This is quarter panel, someone cut it out for sheet metal. But the good news is now we can see inside and there's no rust here. So this is a rust free shell. And in there there's a speaker. I wonder if it's worth anything. Probably not. But I'm thinking I can make 400 bucks off this total and then buy something else. Maybe another part out, maybe a set of wheels or something. Try and get to $1,000 as fast as possible. Gauge cluster. You can see there's a really, really low mileage car, only 123,000 miles on this thing. That is insanely low. Previous owner wants to take back the gauge cluster though, so I'm gonna let him. He did deliver it here for 100 bucks. My god, that's hair. Why is there hair? Disgusting. Everything about this car is kind of disgusting. It's full of broken glass from random places. That's where the transmission shifter used to be. But it's got all three pedals still, and the dead pedal. So if it's a three pedal car, definitely was manual. The dash is, you know, in decent shape. It's got mold on it though. There's the door card, other door card. And all the random junk, so I'm gonna dig in there and see what I can find. Now the car's being supported by its fuel tank, some cinder blocks and some wood. But again, another opportunity to see that this thing is completely, almost rust free. Yeah, no rear suspension at all. That's where the rear shocks are supposed to be. You can just see this guy. Alright, I searched through everything that was in the back of here. We've got the AC condenser and stuff, we've got carpets, we've got, you know, floor mats, we've got door cards, all that stuff. Um, a lot of random junk as well that doesn't really go to the car even. Um, we have back seats. So it's a pretty much complete interior. Interior is complete. All the stuff that's missing, like the center console, and the uh, glove box, all that's in the trunk. I love that sound. The trunk was also this damaged silver bumper. Yeah, 
This is for a 95 and this is a 97, so it's a bit different, but I'll give it away for free because it's damaged. This car is never going to be complete again. I mean, the frame is cut. There's no hope for this car. Part scar. And after I part as much as I can out, then it's just going to get scrapped. So, we'll see what happens. I'll update you guys next week to see how much stuff I've sold, if I've moved on to my next project yet. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not already, so you get notifications when I upload my next video. This should be an interesting contest. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Alright, guys. So, it's been almost two weeks. The competition is almost over. Um, the car, I've sold quite a few parts off it. Actually, I haven't sold like three or four things. You can kind of see it over there. It's nighttime. It's currently Saturday night. Competition ends Monday. So, my friend, he bought a catalytic converter, which is basically cheating, and he sold it for $450, so he's at $450, and uh, so far I spent 100 bucks to buy the shell of this car, I sold the rear seat latches for 18 bucks. I sold uh, the door handles with the key, and the ignition cylinder, and the steering column, and all the wiring, and the ignition switch, all that, all, all of it, I traded it for these wheels, and also 15 bucks. These are Integra GSR blade wheels. Pretty nice, no curb brush, only three of them though. So I'm selling these for 150 bucks, and um, I have someone coming tomorrow morning to pick these up for 150. So that puts me at 150 plus 15 bucks plus 18 bucks. Plus, I sold um, the driver's side window molding for 10 bucks, so that's like, what, 150 plus 28 plus 15, that's, uh, 28 plus 15 is 40 something. Anyway, it's almost $300. No, almost $200. So since I spent $100 on the shell, I'll only have made like 100 bucks, but that doesn't matter. My friend's at 450. I've got until Monday to get up past 450. I've got somebody that wants to buy um, a bunch of parts like the manual pedals and the manual ECU for 100 bucks plus shipping. Then I got somebody that wants to buy some random pieces for 30 bucks plus shipping. So all that together should bring me to like 300 something. And then, if I sell the rest of the shell for 100 bucks, that'll put me at 420. So I just gotta sell a few more parts t to get past my friend and hopefully win this competition. If I've learned one thing, it's that part outs are a ton of time and effort. And really not worth it unless you're parting out something that has a lot of valuable parts on it and you get a really good deal.